Hi. Hi. So you on? Get right here, but I can hear you. <laughs> so I'm Nasla Johnson. I'm the membership chair. Okay. And um, basically, we um, well, let me see a show of hands of anybody in here who are either um, advisory members or board members. Okay, great. So they can't, they can't see it. Y'all need to hold up high. They can't see it. Okay. Okay. So I need you to see me after the meeting, so we can discuss if you if you haven't already paid your dues, um, because we want to get those in. Um, any any arrangements, um, we can do that. So please see me after um, after the workshop. And so anybody in here that feel that safe diversity has helped their family, give a show of hands. Okay. That's it. Okay, so is there anybody in there love the workshop or having a great time today? Okay, <laughs> amen. Okay, so basically I want to let you know that basically Safe Diversity does so much for the community and really needs um, your support. So if you can donate five, ten, fifteen dollars towards our membership, that would be great. Um, I will get with each and every one of you after um, the workshop, so please don't run out too fast. So that, um, and if you can, it's no pressure, but we would love for you to uh, donate towards our membership because um, Safe Diversity puts so much money out into the community. Um, the gala's coming up, and there's um, scholarship money that's going out, um, the, the dresses for the, the young lady, so we would love for your support. <laughs> I'm Claudette Newsome. Um, Ms. Scott and I are actually on a VCLI alumni. Ms. Scott is a current VCLI leader. But they don't know what VCLI is. Uh, Boards and Commission and Leadership, basically, Institute, uh, where they educate you on how to become a board member or be uh, instrumental in your communities, whether it's on the city board, uh, county, uh, even organizations. My daughter, Alexandria Newsom, is not here today uh, because I require that they get involved. So she does a lot of community outreach, and that's what she's doing today. Uh, last year, when you told me about your organization, I gave Alexandria a list of organizations on which she wants to get involved with, and she decided to get involved with Ms. Scott because she feels that she can give more, she can do more than versus receiving. So she's not a selfish person, and I'm very proud of her. Right. And I just wanted to say, Claudia, how I met her is her sister is my best friend. Her sister and I, she came to me after my husband died, so she's been around for about 10 years. And I just wanted to say that she is running for city council. Mm -hmm. But I want to say last year and this year is the organization that um, Tasha Jackson, y'all remember that name, Tasha Jackson worked with. She made sure the organization that she worked with did not know me. But she made sure that I had funding all last year, yeah. her organization. So let's give a hand. I love Tasha. <laughs> Vote for her. Remember her name, Tasha Jackson. She's District running for City B. Council, City Council District B. District B. District B. And I want her to become City Council because I don't have to worry no more. She becomes City yeah, Council. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. And um, my uh, what about the mother before under this? Oh, come on. She's applying, so I want her to say something. Like I'm this. Chris Cynthia Flair, and that's my daughter, Randy Flair. Um, Randy, like most kids, are very active in the community. We're part of the Junior Frontiers Club. Um, she's on the youth ministry at our church. She's on the youth council leadership uh, with the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. She's a national soccer player here in Houston. She's just received a D1 scholarship uh, to Prairie View A&M. So, so in the midst of traveling uh, hour and 20 minutes, three times a week to play uh, on her national soccer team, she also is in the top 10 of her class at uh, Crosby High School. She's currently ranked number eight, has a chance to move up even higher. So I'm very proud of her. We do a lot in the community. We started very young. She's been in many, many groups where she's traveled to Jamaica to do um, school uh, functions where they went and provided, uh, it was um, like school supplies to schools in Jamaica. We've gone to um, London and Paris to do things there and also to Rome this last year. 
So she's very, very active. So I'm very proud of her. Yeah. And thanks for the opportunity. I'm really enjoying this. And we need her to stand up. Stand up, sweetheart. And I just want to say I'm, I'm a part of the group that she's with. The Junior Frontiers, I serve on that board too, so I'm honored to have her here this year to be one of the scholarships recipients. And this wow. is our leader. Right, <laughs> this leader. So, baby, come up. Thank you, guys. This lady here, I, I, I work with her. I'm, I'm her assistant with the Junior Frontiers. I'm her assistant on there. We work with kids from all over Houston, you guys. And every year, she has how many kids you have? We got on the trip. Oh, when we go on the trip, we take about seven um, every year. We go to our national convention, and we usually take about seven out of the group um, to the trip, and we can take more if they want to go. But she takes seven to eight kids every year to the conference. I don't go with her because I'm always doing something. This summer when she's in, what you had last year? Um, last year we were in uh, Philadelphia. 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 And this year we'll be in Tallahassee. Tallahassee. I couldn't go with her to help her with the kids is because I'll be doing my summer program. All summer, I'm stuck here with the kids because I have six kids and I'm, 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 training, I'm training them a skill. So I can't go with her. But she takes all those kids by herself every, how long you been doing this? Uh, about 12 years. 12 years. Every summer she takes all these kids, no chaperone but her. She, she had to keep up with seven kids. So today I want to honor her for uh, doing my part because I can't go because I'm doing safe diversity. But what she does for those kids and those, if those mothers and fathers should also be honoring her. But she has to keep up with seven kids. She's responsible for these kids. They're out of time. She responds. So we honored her with this award and, and last year we did her as a mother of the, mother of the year. So, let's give her a hand, and uh, Nick can come back and get our picture. Can you come get a picture, for, uh, uh, Matt? Can you get the picture? Oh, you, you get that picture? Oh, he'll get a picture. All right, let's give her another hand. This is awesome. Ladies, can I picture? After you look at Nick, look at me, please put Nick first. I'm Jacqueline Potter. I'm a retired Houston police officer, 30 years, three months, three days. I'm also married to a U.S. Vietnam veteran. I just want to take a brief moment and tell you about uh, what I'm doing now, life after the police department. When you're in an organization such as the Houston Police Department, you have a successful career, the next thing you're supposed to do is think about how you're going to give back. Currently, I'm working part-time with the City of Houston, My Brother's Keepers program. That program has numerous initiatives. There's they are win-win, uh, SB30, uh, LEAD, Law Enforcement Assisted Diversion. That program is in Attics High School. And what we're doing there is helping the students to divert out of the criminal justice system. Um, I also need to briefly tell you about the program Community Safety Education Act. That is the act that was uh, piloted or sponsored, sponsored by John Whitmire and our Senator Royce West. Right. And basically what we're doing is we're offering an opportunity and anyone here, if you have an organization that you want us to come out and teach your organization and give you a uh, Community Safety Education Act presentation, also referred to as, as, as SB 30, we'll be more than happy to do that. That presentation is totally free of charge. And basically what we're going to do is we're gonna teach your organization we're going to teach your members how to act during a traffic stop and what to expect from the police. Basically, it's a proactive effect. It's a proactive effort by the state of Texas to negate any type of civil unrest here in our state that you've seen throughout the country. The City of Houston Health Department has taken it upon themselves. The My Brother's Keepers initiative has taken the lead in educating <coughs> the citizens of Houston about this program. Please note that ninth graders now will have to have taken that program and have a certificate on their high school on their high school transcript right. that indicates that they took the program in order to get their diploma. So if you're in the ninth grade now, by the time you graduate from the 12th grade, you must have that on your high school transcript in order to get a high school diploma in the state of Texas. 
And right. please note that not only are, is the community being trained, we're also training all police officers in the state of Texas because we all want to be on the same page in uniting and further developing the relationship between the community and the police department. But every month we honor a veteran and our first responders. And so during the Hurricane Harvey, this lady was very, very busy. She was very busy. So uh, we wanted to honor her and her husband. Her husband is, was ill and not able to come today, but she's going to get the awards for both of them. Max, could you, um, uh, Gabby, could you bring up the awards? We, we want to uh, present her with the award for, for just keeping our community safe. So let's give her a hand, everyone. So, and so in, much for being here. In my yeah. husband's absence, could we be kind enough to give him an award because he is a survivor of the Vietnam era. He's a All Vietnam right. veteran. That's right, so he's getting an award for the veteran, okay? Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yes, I have got to find, I will find a place for this in my office. Okay. I didn't expect anything this, this uh, uh, fantastic. Where's her husband, uh, the other one, no, it's, the other one is under the table. Thank you, thank you. What other one? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on a minute. I, well, they, I they thought I would, I would get them. Okay, can, she's going to open it up. Hold on a minute. She has a paper certificate. My husband's oh. going to love this. Paper, huh? Oh my gracious. It's framed. It's, it's framed. It's nice. Yes. And, I, and yes. I most humbly accept this award for myself and for my husband. Uh, you need to sign it, but it's okay. You can hold it up. Okay. Yeah, for no. my husband, oh. uh, Isaac Potter. Yeah, you hold it. She's going to hold it up. How you doing? My name is Caleb Johnson. Uh, I go by K-Dog. I'm um, a hip-hop artist. I'm an actor, model. I do a little bit of photography. Um, if you have any type of entertainment needs and need a host to entertain a hip-hop artist with clean music, clean image, I'm available. Uh, my website is www.kdogmusic.com. That's K-D-O-G, music.com. Um, shout out to Miss Scott. Um, she does a lot for me. She books me a lot. She really put me in the door with a lot of things. Uh, Carl and Tina would normally be fit. They also put me in the door too. I always give credit where credit's due, and hey, that's what I do, man. I'm an entertainer, so you need, you need this pretty face, this handsome, scruffy face <laughs> in your face, you know, let me know. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the yeah. kids at school just yeah. love him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he be doing this. They lit, and all my kids be saying, I'm going bananas, I'm going bananas. Yeah, all yeah. Kids, saying, oh, what is he got him yeah. doing? But they love him over there, so, so you, you come to our. our uh, Valentine party, February 13th. We're yeah, gonna, I'll be so there. So we're going to stay lit, right? Yeah, we're going to get lit. I might suit up on them right quick, you know what I'm saying? We're going to come through, you know what I'm saying? I might have to come up there with a little date, you know what I'm saying? You, oh, you're going to bring a date? Oh, yeah, guess right. who my date is? Who? Music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. We coming. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for coming. Hey, Appreciate shout out to Safe Diversity. Shout out to Mr. Elmer Scott. Always. Yeah, everybody here, man. God bless y'all. It's a blessing. What you do with the school? Uh, schools, I, I clearly my son is going viral right now, so I'm pretty much uh, building my own school tour. So I probably do like two or three schools a week. Uh, I just came back from Dallas. I just do, did two schools in Dallas. Uh, so right now it's just it's just popping. I'm trying to get more colleges and festivals right now. Actually, I'm trying to get a rodeo. So I'm trying to perform at the cook-off. You know, they got tents and stuff like that. So okay. any colleges, uh, schools, or organizations in a rodeo cook-off tent, I'm going to be in there turning that thing up on some right. positive energy. So, yeah. I just love it. He motivates the kids yeah. with disabilities, and they do a lot with him. I can't get them to rap. I can't get them to do nothing but K-Dog can get them to do <laughs> anything they do. <laughs> so Scott, we love it. Scott, let's touch on the fact that this amazing gentleman, Caleb, K-Dog, is clean. And yeah. he has a clean, yeah. positive image. Yes. And that state lit is not really smoking drugs. <laughs> 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 yeah, all right, so I, I never drank, I never did drugs, and nothing like that. Uh, long, long, long story short, uh, I was nine years old, I grew up in a bad neighborhood, uh, my mom went to war, my grandma took care of me, and she made me make a promise not to get no tattoos, go to penitentiary, drink and smoke, so I kept that promise. Uh, when we finally found out that my mom wasn't 
at war because she was gone for three years. I thought my grandmother was my mom. So she put that in my head. My mom came and got me, long story short. I uh, had the opportunity to work at Disney World and then I started pursuing music. And so at first when I was doing music before that, I was doing it for a bad reason. And then I noticed that my image didn't, my music didn't match the image that I had. So I flipped the game and now I do clean music. And Lid is pretty much saying that I came out my shell being who I am, being myself, but I don't need drugs to turn up. So a lot of people that listen to it overseas and stuff like that, or, you know, my music getting caught overseas a lot. So they sending me videos of them, you know, doing their little craziness with their type of substance and stuff like that. Right. When really, if they listen to the lyrics, I'm talking about I don't need that. I'm basically saying in both verses, like, I don't need Mary, I don't need Molly. That's drugs. I don't need no substance. I'm turned up. I'm naturally lit. But people don't oh, see right. that. You got to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? But, do, I ain't trying to send nobody to hell. Do just a little bit. Don't go business to business. Do just a little bit, okay? For the kids. Sitting up here on stage, nobody can hurt me. Shout out to Miss Thelma from Safe Diversities. Coming through, but you know I stay lit. Flexing like Carl Latina, know where to be fit. <laughs> Out here, looking real wild. Six four, bright smile. <laughs> That's me. I'm your child. I'm K Dog. I'm from the wild. Houston, Texas. That's what I claim. Everybody hate. That's a shame. Y'all gonna remember this in my lane. Caitlin Johnson. And that's my name. Uh -huh. hey. <laughs> Thank you, Sweetheart.